walking through the museum and I stop at any any one exhibit that we have, it's sort of like taking a trip back in time. And I think that's what we're trying to do for visitors that come is to relate to a time earlier in our county history. And to me, it brings back stories of my childhood and it may bring back memories of my grandparents, um, you know, just things that have happened in the past or maybe that I've been told about. And that's what we hope to do is sort of to bring those things to life for our visitors that come to the museum. I'm Pat Malso and I'm the Executive Director at the Freeborn County Historical Museum Library and Village. We hope to bring to life the history of Freeborn County by showing in our exhibits different situations, different uh, time periods uh, that might bring back memories uh, for people as they're going through the museum or that will bring to life things that maybe have been told to us by our parents or grandparents by actually seeing the object or seeing a photo or you know seeing something that's going to spark that memory or that thought process to take you back in time. Probably our two largest uh, famous people are uh, Marion Ross, who uh, played the mother in Happy Days and has also starred in many uh, Hallmark movies and uh, plays. Uh, Marion grew up here from third grade to 10th grade, so she calls this her home. Her sister still lives here, and uh, she's very supportive of the museum. And then our other leading person would be Eddie Cochran. We still have visitors every year that come from England, Australia, and Montreal to see our Eddie Cochran exhibit. And you think about his, he died when he was uh, just in his early 20s. And so he hadn't been a star for very long, but he had a lot of gold records, uh, Summertime Blues being the, you know, one of the number one ones that people would recognize. The Freeborn County Historical Society was actually formed in 1948, incorporated in 1959, and uh, actually was located in many different locations at the beginning of its time. But in 1965, they um, actually built the first part of our museum building that we're in today. And then the uh, first edition was put on in 1980, and now we're getting ready to put on the second edition. So it, you know, it has grown over the years. We're at a point, a turning point in our position as being a, a county historical society and museum that we need right now additional space in order to continue collecting and preserving the history of Freeborn County. Our archive area is full from the floor to the ceiling uh, with little or no paths between it. So if we want to continue being able to preserve the history because you know we have a pretty good collection up into the 1940s and beginning into the 1950s but we need to start collecting things from the 60s, 70s, and on up. And if we aren't able to do that, um, there'll be a, a point where people will come and say, you know, well, what happened to this that, that ended in 1990? And we're gonna say, you know, I'm sorry, we didn't have room, so we weren't able to take it. So, you know, as time goes on, there's a need for additional space. Um, also to have the opportunity to serve our community better by having a more up-to-date uh, facility for library research, uh, for having meeting rooms where people can come and actually uh, 
have presentations presented to them, whether it be on our photo collections or archived vertical files or you know whatever it might be, that we have a space to do that in. With the building addition to our current museum, uh, we'll be able to have a new entrance, which will be closer to the parking. We'll have a larger meeting room area, uh, a larger library, a hands-on learning lab for children, which we're really excited about, to have an area where we can actually have items that the children can touch and feel and learn about uh, firsthand. We'll have an elevator, which is gonna make it much easier for our handicapped visitors to negotiate uh, getting up and down from one level to the other. So those are just a few of the things that we'll be changing and uh, making our museum special. When people come to visit here, and we do have people that come usually from 35 to 40 states a year, plus usually 15 or 16 foreign countries, and when people, especially those that come in from out of town, they're amazed at what we have here in a small county museum. They said they, you know, they could compare us to larger museums in larger cities and, and even on the state level because we have such a wide variety of exhibits and because we have a museum and a historical village and a library all in one complex. They feel it's really a, a good bang for their buck. Um, because once they pay the $5 general admission, they can visit all three parts of our complex. In 2012, we had visitors from, I believe it was 36 states and 12 foreign countries, and uh, we had about 13,000 visitors in the museum during that year. Uh, and that's, that's our best estimate. Uh, we try to catch everybody that comes in, but sometimes you don't. <laughs> you forget to mark somebody down, but that should be pretty close. And that's, that's pretty much an average for us. It's usually between 12 and 13,000. The Freeborn County Historical Museum Library and Village is building the future by preserving the past. And that's so that future generations will have the opportunity to see what has happened in the past and where their roots have come from. Mm -hmm.